So this week's video, we're just going to be doing a van tour of our VW LT35, which we've been living in for the past year now. Her name is Donatella Van Sarchi on Instagram, also known as Big Bez. So we bought the van as a bare shell. It was originally used to transport motorbikes. That was the story that the guy gave us. <laughs> bought in Brighton uh, about a year and a half ago now. It's around six months to convert the van to what it is now. This is what we've called home for the past year. So we want to document it now as we've got a few plans in order in winter to change it. So let's get started. So the van we bought is a Volkswagen LT35 uh, 2005, a 2.5 TDI engine in it. The reason we bought the van with that engine is because the last T4 we had had pretty much the same engine and it was ultra reliable and I think we got to about 280,000 miles and it's still going to this day. So when we bought the van it wasn't in the best shape so since then we've done quite a lot to the engine, we've changed all the cam belts, we've changed the diesel pump, the water pump, a few other bits, changed the exhaust. Yeah we've done quite a lot to it just to make it as reliable as we can. It's done us well so far. Apart from a couple of breakdowns. Bar a couple of breakdowns <laughs> but it's expected when you're living in a van. When we got the van, it was just a rusty old white van. It had lots of dents. The driver's door was dented, so we had to replace that. Uh, we've replaced the front left wing. We've also got two new back doors on it because when we bought it, the bottoms were really rusty. And also, you can tell it's not white anymore, so we changed the colour to a... I don't know what kind of colour it is, really. <laughs> Someone said the hydrated wee, but the I think it's better wee. than that. Like a sandy beige, isn't it? Like changed the sandy beige. We roller painted it about six months ago now. Completely changed the look of the van, and now it looks like a completely different van to when we got it. Right, so now at the back of the van, I like to call it the garage, the smallest garage in the world. It's tidy for us. Yeah. We need to get some storage boxes to make it look a little bit tidier. So we designed this bed in a way that we could have enough storage underneath to bring anything we need, like paddle boards or bikes or anything like that. And so we've got plenty of storage underneath. At the back of the garage, we have a 100 litre water tank, and that is connected to the fill point on the outside of the van pump the water into the taps and everything we need. We've got a shore flow pump. <laughs> We've got a shore flow pump. And the system we use to have hot water is a Wabasto Thermo Top C, which is a diesel water heater, basically. But it's a bit of a different design. The way it works is our engine coolant pipes are connected to this big stainless steel tank at the back of the van. And the engine coolant, when we drive, will warm that up. There is a heat exchanger inside of this tank. Water will pass through to make hot. And we can heat it two ways, either when we drive or we can turn the, the diesel heater on, yeah, the actual element. So that's mounted underneath, so that's got engine coolant connected to it as well. So that's one big system. So this was a design that one of my friends put in, his mechanic, uh, an engineer. So he's quite a smart guy, it's more than I could do. It was kind of a bit of a project, but yeah, it's worked really well so far. And it means that you can have 100 litres of unlimited hot water. It's good because you do get an unlimited hot shower. So a 100 litre tank usually lasts us around five to six showers, top small showers if we're on the road and washing up and making teas and stuff like that. This is our gas bottle, which runs our gas oven. Uh, we did have to remove the gas locker box before anyone has a moan. We have got a drop vent under here as well, but we are gonna put that back in soon because we had to rebuild it. 15 kilo bottle we've got, and that usually lasts us around four to six months, depending on how much we use it, because it only powers the oven, doesn't take that much gas. Right, so on the other side of the garage, we've got our electrics behind my toolbox. Before we get into electrics, this is the toolbox. This is where we keep all of our beloved tools <laughs> that we need to fix the van. Very good storage. That's a little bargain, mate. Right? Little bargain, 20 pounds, I think. So our leisure batteries, at the minute, we've got two AGM leisure batteries, 110 amp hour each. A smart charger, DC to DC battery charger. So when we drive, that will charge up the leisure batteries. Um, we've also got solar on the roof. At the minute, we've got 185 watts of solar, and that's connected to the Victron Smart Solar Charge Controller. It's all connected to a fuse board, which then is fused to all of our other electronics back in the living space. So moving on to the inside of the van, we have got our most recent installation, which is our shoe cupboard. We absolutely love this just because it tidies away all the shoes. We did have a basket on the step, but it just kept falling out and it was a nightmare. So this keeps them nice and tidy. So this is our sitting area or our little living room, as we like to call it. We've got Willow's bed down here, which she absolutely loves. So she's got a lot of storage in here. It goes back to just about here. We keep all of our toys, 
her blankets and things like that in there. So the seating area was one of our main things that we wanted to have when we were talking about layouts. Just wanted to have an area where we could just sit and enjoy the views. All under the seats we've got storage, so under here is where I keep all of my clothes. And this section here is where we put our diesel heater for the winters. It's all storage shelf here, which is made out of pallet wood. So moving round to our window section, we have our little blind, which works perfectly. It's not quite blackout, but it does the job. And then we installed this window so we can open this one, which gives good ventilation. So this is my favorite part of the van. I absolutely love this little section. We can do little themes on here when it's Christmas, Halloween, Valentine's Day. We've got our shelves, which are basically our version of a crap drawer because we don't have that many drawers in here. We just bung all stuff like chargers and clips, anything you can think of. Shelf, we keep all of our incense sticks. This here is our USB charger where we charge our phones. So all of our ceilings and walls are plywood. Our ceiling, we really wanted to be for like an Airstream inspired style. So we used three mil plier and bent it into shape to create the curves. So we just used some um, edge trim to cover all the joins and stuff like that. And we really love it and it gives us exactly what we wanted, which is like that old school air stream style so moving on to the kitchen section of our van this is one of our favorite features we've got our Dometic CRX 50 fridge so this really does the job in our old van we just had a pool box so upgrading to this was literally luxury we've got a freezer in there it's quite small but we get what we want in there some ice for our iced coffees so it's a 12 volt compressor fridge it doesn't use that much energy at all and it's been fantastic since we got it so we've got all these different sections in here our milk usually goes in here all different little bits and bobs and you can also adjust the temperature setting you've got four different modes and at the moment we just keep it on the second from the highest so this is our kitchen so this sink was from amazon it does the job fantastic it's nice and deep and it's really practical Moving on to our tap, we got ourselves a pull-out tap which has two settings on it. So you've got this one and this one. And we've got hot and cold water on there as well. Also with this tap, it doubles up as an outdoor shower because you can just turn it round and then put it on the outside. And it goes pretty far. So for the interior kitchen, we had a few pictures on Pinterest that we liked the idea of, so we just took aspects of all of those and put them together. So for our countertop, we went for a laminate worktop, which we probably regret a little bit just because it's been lifting in certain areas. This is our 1970s Calor gas oven. It's literally like a tiny little play oven. It was a game changer for us because in our old van, we just had a, a one ring burner. So all of our dinners were just what you could cook in a pan. So the idea of having an oven was just crazy. So we've used this a lot. We've cooked roasts in here. Anything you can do in a normal oven, you can do in this, despite it looks tiny. Then we've got our Amazon magnetic knife holder, which is really good and easy access for when you're cutting your veggies. So our tiles are from Wix. They were just some cheapies that we got last minute. We couldn't find any that we really wanted. We did want to go for like some vintage old school tiles, but we just couldn't find them and we was in a rush. So these do the job nicely. This is where we put all of our vegetables and stuff like that. Then we've got our kitchen shelf, which also acts as like a kitchen bedroom separator. So we keep all of our spices on here. And then this little bit, we just chuck bits and bobs to do with the kitchen. Moving on to our overhead cabinets in our kitchen. So these doors are all handmade by Bill. I literally showed him a picture of something I wanted on Pinterest and he's done it beautifully. Look at it, it's gorgeous. In this one, we've got all of our dried foods like rice, pasta, wraps and all of our sauces and condiments and things like that. And then in this one, for all of our mugs and cups and uh, tea and coffee, biscuits and things like that. This is our cleaning cupboard. This is where we store all of our cleaning products and we can easily access the bottom of the sink for the plumbing. Quite a lot of storage in here. I think we're gonna add a shelf in the future. This was one of those things that we just quickly done and chucked everything in, but it could really benefit from just having like 
a couple of shelves in there just so we can utilize the space a little bit better. So we have one drawer here, but we wanted to replicate that look. So we used a false panel here. So it, it's not actually a drawer. And this is a uh, Willow's little cupboard, our dog cupboard, where we store all of her food and dog bits. So in here, we've got all of her shampoos, towels. Oh, it's it's the treats. Now. So in this cupboard, we have all of our pots and pans, plates, bowls, a fire extinguisher, some flour that's leaking everywhere for Bill's pancake and all of these cupboards and um, doors have heavy duty uh, magnets on them and they are pretty good to be fair. If we put everything away properly, they stay closed. So this is our kitchen cutlery drawer, which is push release. This is where we keep all of our cutlery and uh, cooking utensils. Right, so moving on to the shower. This was something that we really wanted in this van just because we we're gonna live in the van. We wanted somewhere that we could just get clean and not have to worry about visiting gyms or anything like that or getting too smelly it went for a curtain just because of easiness and weight and it's a lot more practical if it gets a bit grubby you can replace it so this is the shower so when we was building the shower we wasn't quite sure how we was going to do it because we had the curved ceiling so in the end we went for these i think they're called shower cladding uh so what we've done is we to get the curve in, we split the back of it, which then allowed us to bend it. If we was doing it again, I don't think we'd do that. I think we'd keep it square and maybe go for something more rugged because these are quite easy to dent. As you can see, we've dented it quite a lot. We went for a pre-made shower tray. Yeah, again, that was quite cheap. And I think next time, like our friends have done, they've tiled it, which seems to be more hard wearing as we've already had a crack in that and that's to replace it. Right, onto the shower. Traditional shower bar. This was black, all matching, but this week it decided to break, so we've had to replace that. Also upside down because we've got the hot and cold the wrong way around. <laughs> and this is actually a stone stream shower head. It's meant to use less water, but more pressure. So I thought that's perfect for the van. Uh, and so far it works really well, doesn't it? The pressure on it is- So good. We've got our Fetford Porter Potty in the shower. So when we have a shower, we'll take that out. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the shower. We also went for a little storage for a bit washing up with it. <laughs> and so a couple of hooks up on the wall just to put our towels on or dry the wetsuit out. So on to my wardrobe. I've got three shelves in here. Eventually we're gonna change this and put a rail in here, but that'll be on another video. Just got a toiletries basket. Um, and at the bottom is where we store all of our odd stuff and put our dirty laundry. We've got a laundry basket in there as well. Put a Louvre vent door on there just so it gets a bit of airflow keep all the clothes fresh. So this is our bedroom area. It's very unfinished. This is probably the most unfinished part of the van. We've gone for some cladding on this wall just to give it a little bit of a homely feel. We've got our overhead cupboards here, which is where I store my clothes and pajamas and things like that. We need to put some doors on here or get some baskets, which one of our subscribers actually um, suggested, which is a really good idea. We eventually want to make this bed a little bit longer just because our mattress is a little bit too short. Cladding on this wall as well, which goes halfway up, hiding our little window, which has a little insect net on this side. You can open that up. This is really nice when we're sleeping and we can get some airflow in here. So this is our controller for our Max Air Fan and this is our uh, carbon monoxide alarm. One of our favourite additions to the van, we've got a Max Air Fan in the roof. This is a really good addition to the van. It pulls the air out and it blows air in. So when you're cooking, you can use it as an extractor fan or when you're having a shower. Another good thing about this is you can use it in the rain because it's got a little cover uh, and it's really quiet compared to most of the fans. So I definitely recommend if you're thinking of building a van, putting one of these in there. So that's it for the van tour. Yeah, we hope you enjoyed the tour of our van. If you have any questions about the build or anything we use or any of the systems we've got, just drop us a comment below or give us a message on our instagram we've also got a lot of videos of the build on youtube leave a link to the playlist above yeah we'll see you in the next one bye, bye. <laughs>